Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to translate WP Forms into a different language. While WP Forms has already translations available in several languages, there may be a situation when you want to translate WP Forms to a language that currently isn't on the list. We're going to go over the following strategies to translate various parts of WP Forms. Translating the form field labels, placeholders, and default values using built-in customization options, translating validation messages, and using the local translate plugin to translate admin areas. With that said, let's jump right into it. Now that we've logged into our site and installed the WP Forms plugin, let's start with the first strategy. Translating form field labels, placeholders, and default values using built-in customization options. Let's get started by going into the form builder. This method is very simple and pretty self-explanatory. Since the form builder allows you to customize the field's label, you can simply select the form field and translate the label as you see fit. In the advanced tab, you'll be able to write in the translated placeholder or the default value for a field. Save your changes when you're done, and let's move on to the next strategy, translating validation messages. Validation messages appear when, for example, a user doesn't fill in a required field on your form, but tries to submit it anyway. You can easily translate these validation messages by going to WP Forms, Settings, and clicking on the Validation tab. On this page, you'll see all of the validation messages that you can customize. All you need to do is to simply enter your translation in the fields provided and save your changes. Our third strategy is using the Local Translate plugin. The Local Translate plugin will allow you to translate text that appears in the WP Forms admin area, like the Form Builder and Settings page. Let's say that I want to translate parts of WP Forms to Korean. Looking at the Form Builder, some of the fields are already translated, but there are a few stragglers, so I want to translate the labels for these field options. The first thing we need to do is go to the Plugins page, Add New, and search for the Local Translate plugin. After we install and activate it, click on it from the left sidebar, and then click on Plugins. From the list of available plugins, select WP Forms. In Local Translate, you'll see two different translation tables, WP Forms Lite and WP Forms. If you're using the paid version of WP Forms, be sure to select the non lite option. This will include all translation strings for both the paid and lite version of the plugin. Click on the New Language option under WP Forms. From there, select a supported WordPress language in the available dropdown. You'll then need to choose where you want to save your new translation file. Translations will be overwritten each time you update WP Forms, so be sure to select the System Location option to prevent this from happening. When you're done, click on the Start Translating option. On the following screen, you're going to see a long list of all of the available text strings in WP Forms that can be translated. In the Source text box, select the text you'd like to translate. In my case, I'm going to select the field options in the Form Builder that were still in English when I switched my site's language to Korean. And in the box below, enter your translation. You'll need to do this for each individual text string you want to translate. When you're done, save your progress. If you'd like to see your new translations, go to your site's WordPress admin settings, and then change the site language to the language you translated WP Forms into. WordPress will install the language pack for this translation when you save your changes. If you then, in our example, take a look at the form builder, the options that were previously still in English are now filled in with my translations. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to translate WP Forms into a different language. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.